boss of Reddit. What was the craziest thing an employee did during work? Employee at McDonald's got high on the job. Right in front of the person at the drive through He held an ice cream and said the machine was out. Before throwing the ice cream at the customer. An employee of mine had sex with a PB&J sandwich in my office. Smoking in a closet rather than walking about 25 feet to the smoking area. Yes, she was that lazy. Had an employee once trim his toenails at his desk. Took shoes and socks off and just started clipping away. And especially in the open floor plan we had. It was horrifying. The sand still haunts me. Not really at work. But I had an employee go home for lunch. He lived nearby. Where he got in a fight with his girlfriend. He took her eye out with a spoon. Bunch of us were out by the loading dock when he ran by with police in pursuit. We watched him get tackled to the ground and arrested. One of my team hooked up with a married HR staffer on a pile of bean bags in an unused part of the office. Turns out you shouldn't put your dick in crazy. Especially when that crazy has access to your payroll. 401k and benefits administration. He was fortunate that she didn't totally screw him over. But I'm sure there was a level of mutually assured destruction that kept her from going full on bonkers. I once had one slap me right in front of my assistant manager and several employees. Worst part is, she was my assistant manager's girlfriend. Fired her of course. He quit a week later. This is my worst employee story. Not sure if I would rate this is as crazy or disgusting. That is up to you. I had one employee. He had hygiene problems and was a heavy breather. It was a messy mix. He had a funk about him at all times and whenever he would walk anywhere he would have labored breathing for a while after. So this led to a number of awkward encounters in the office elevators. He typically dressed the same each day and that is fine. Most of us sort of have a uniform we wear in an office environment. But this dude would wear the same things day in and day out. One day he shit his pants. Straight up dropped a load in the seat of his pants and had a damp spot moving down his legs and he just stayed at his desk. The stench was unbearable. I had to send him home. The absurdity of the moment. Here I am telling a guy in his late 30s he needs to go home and clean himself. The next day he came in wearing the same pants. He had not washed them. I fired him within 15 minutes. I worked with a guy who was extremely vulgar and had no filter. Working in a factory this was not an issue with most people. Turns out however that he had a weird fetish for breast milk as well. We found this out because a co-worker recently gave birth and he would frequently ask her to have some and even offered to buy it. Finally she had enough and reported him to our. He was promptly fired. I was the manager of a mo crew. New guy starts and says he has three years experience from mowing a golf course. After about 5 minutes it's clear he's never driven a lawnmower in his life. I say whatever and make him weed whip the rest of the site because we were short handed and really needed any help we could get. So we finished the site hop in the truck to go to the next site. Now to clear something up most mo crews are usually filled with stoners. And we were no exception. But I shit you not I look in the back seat and this guy is preparing a line of coke on the center console. I'm like WTF. 
he acts like it's no big deal. I call the boss and he literally says, well we really need the help. Was in charge of production for a vehicle manufacturer. Hard on a guy that I described as creepy. But couldn't point out why. He was friendly. Smiled often. Joked easily. Worked hard. I wanted so badly for him to give me a solid reason to dislike him. Because I was starting to feel guilty about how creepy I thought he was. One day a woman reports that he had his hand in his pants and was touching himself while staring at her from across the line. Checked camera. Fired on the spot. We had a guy who was a remote employee who got caught working as a Starbucks barista while he was supposed to be working his normal 9 to 5. Rather than fire him immediately he was allowed to keep his job but had to work from the office. For that point on he was the most annoying employee alive just hoping to get fired so he could sue for wrongful termination. He was black and gay and would make sure to be as visible as possible. On his lunch break he would cook legit meals that require a hot plate and toaster oven and bring in a full kitchen into the break room. He would take jogs around the building in basically a speedo. When he knew our CEO was visiting and we had dress in business attire, pants, dress, shirt, he came to the office in a legit dress. Eventually he was forced out by just piling on work till he quit. Edit, forgot that he started wearing bells on his ankles and wrists. HR did put a stop to that one, though. Because most people were on calls with customers and you could hear him jingling from halfway across the building. Fired up the corporate VPN. Did some work. Went over to Craigslist to hire a hooker. Sort of succeeded. But it was really an undercover police officer. Got arrested. Missed customer meeting the next morning. Fired that afternoon. Tough week. I had an employee fall asleep outside the back door of the fast food place I was managing. He goes on his 30 minutes break and says he's not feeling well. 10 minutes after he leaves, we get the biggest rush I've had in months. And there were only two others and myself. It was taking 45 minutes for people to get the food and ticket times were supposed to be kept under 7 minutes. He miraculously appeared after the rush was over and we were closing. I was so mad. We needed the help closing, but I sent his ass home anyways. Closed at 10, I sent everyone home by 11.30 and I didn't leave until almost 2am. Without a doubt, it was in the top 3 worst nights I've ever had at that job. This is a story I heard second hand. But based on the company culture of this particular company, I'd believe it. Just have to share it. So some kind of high up sales guy is in Thailand. Could be a different country in Asia, can't really remember. For a very big meeting with a customer. The day of the meeting comes, he doesn't show up. No one can get a hold of him. Two days later he resurfaces and heads back to the US. No one was sure what happened until he sent in his expense report. This guy picked up a prostitute did stuff with the prostitute wasn't happy with the service and refused to pay the prostitute prostitute calls the police guy gets arrested guy is forced to pay the prostitute as well as the police. When he got back home he included the prostitute and police stay in his expense report since you know. He's got to get reimbursed for all that. TLDR expense to prostitute. It wasn't during my watch, but I had to deal with the aftermath. An employee shit in the walk-in freezer. Because he was too afraid to ask permission to use the restroom. I had a former co-worker that used to take off his socks along with his shoes and walk around our makeshift office barefoot. 
I could somewhat understand why he'd do that since it was just the two of us in a fairly isolated area. And he probably felt comfortable enough to do that. But I wouldn't want to walk around with my bare feet in a public area. Knew a member of housekeeping who, during the early stages of the resort, used to shower in the rooms of guests who had just recently checked out. He would say it was because he was testing out the facilities for the guests and that he could clean the bathroom better that way. Guy took like seven showers a day or something. An employee I directly supervised asked me for a brap over the inter-office chat system. I just immediately closed my laptop like no. Not dealing with this right now. Got drunk and passed out on top of bowling machine. I was always waiting to see a part of his body fall on a lane. Because he was always high drunk while working on machines. Had one girl fake her father's death to get time off. We knew it wasn't true because her sister got married a few months after and the father was in the wedding photos. Before this incident it was her good mother that died. She forgot to tell granny that cause granny showed up with food one day. She also had an imaginary daughter. Not crazy but just stupid. Worked in retail. One of my employees was working the cash. A woman came to the cash wanting to buy a pair of pants. But she wanted to wear them out of the store. Sure, no problem. My employee, let's say Jess, rings up a pair of pants. The customer pats her pockets and says she forgot her wallet out in the car. She's just gonna run outside and grab it. Jess says sure no problem. Do you think the customer came back? Back in 1996 or so. I had a young high school kid at my pizza restaurant come in high. I told him to leave because kids that are high can't make good pizza for others that's a different story. He got pissed off and while I was in the walk-in fridge came through the back area and take a piss in a 5 gallon bucket of sauce. He then placed their bucket back with the rest and yelled that he pissed in a bucket of sauce. We had to throw out all the sauce and clean the buckets before we could make more. No, he wasn't employed after that. I don't care if employees get high. I definitely can't judge that. But I had this one guy who was supposed to be push mowing the front yard of a client's house. I walked around from the backyard and found him mowing the middle of the road. By the time I chased him down he was too high to use intelligible words. I got him to wait in the truck and fired him that day. He sent pictures of his feet to other employees. He also talked to the girls about the feet and sometimes asked to see them. Enough girls complained, so I fired him. Once had a housekeeper on light duty. Like 65 years old as it is. One day I gave her four stayover rooms. So just refresh the room as the guests are staying another night. As I passed one of those rooms there were four guests standing outside. And couldn't get in because the key didn't work, which happens often. I tried the key and it lit up as if the door was bolted from inside. Occasionally the bolt will get accidentally thrown as it closes. So I called security to use our override key to open it. The guests had already been there 25 minutes trying new keys by the time I got security there. Security opens the door and there's my housekeeper. On the couch. Feet up on the table. Watching TV.